this is New Generation Ministry and uh, I'm Zlatko Stamatov. Hi to everyone who is watching this video right now. And today we continue with, uh, with the Deliver Ministry and uh, we'll go to another section where is the, the question is how the demons, how the devils, they enter in the, in, into the people. So today we will, we will take a look for just a one one way how they attack the people and uh, how you to recognize all of that things and uh, first thing is the devil the enemy is a legalist and he just don't he just don't care he tried to attack the people from everywhere and uh, and uh, and uh, he used the sin the rebellion and the disobedience like a like a doorway to enter into the life of the people beginning from the childhood uh, so what's mean that? Uh, most of the time, uh, if you if you, if you can see uh, many child, many kids, many childs, a small child, a little child, they, they have a they have a problem from so young age, from so so young age with the lust, with with the perversion, with a, with they struggling with so many things which which it's not it's not normal for them. So we will we'll take a look today why is like that, and uh, the good news, the good thing is uh, is that Jesus came to set the people free and this is the good news from all of these sins from all of these things Jesus came to set the people free and a salvation actually is mean to be set free not only to Jesus to save you from the from from your sin but Jesus to save you from from the from the devil from the devil from the hell from uh, the thing which you struggle so the first thing which we'll take a look today it's from the birth so when when you're getting deliverance what is happening actually is there so god desire actually is for every single child every single person to grow in a nice good family uh what's mean that uh a parents a mother and father they had to have a marriage they to live together they to know jesus they to follow jesus they to teach the child how to grow in the faith how to follow jesus and all these things so on short way they to live a life in front of Jesus. Unfortunately, it's not everywhere is like that. Unfortunately, not every child have this opportunity. Unfortunately, again, and uh, and uh, again, this is very important. It's not a child. Uh, 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 it's not a child guilty. It's not a child uh, 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 problem that he he's doing something and that's why he's half of that. Um, Unfortunately, many kids they grow in a family where is uh, the mother and the father they're not married they live just like that they live in the scene the child is being born in the scene uh, out out of the marriage and this affects all these things they affect to the to the to the to the child and they affect spiritual and after they affect and grow on 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 physical way and uh, if you are conceit of uh, 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 in in adultery. On fornication this can be probably uh, a door uh, open door for a spirit of lust so what's mean that uh, when when the parents they they're not married when the parents they have a life of, of lust unmorality life they coming from background which is not so good unmorality life they are doing so many lust uh, perversion and uh, some uh, many unmorality sexuality things this automatically is coming, just enter in the in the child, and the lust is come from the from the from the womb. The lust is come from the womb. When the child is on the mom womb, and he's been uh, uh, in the mom womb, when they don't have a marriage, we don't have a clear, clear life in front of the God. This effect to the child, and uh, and uh, people people today they struggle from the lust in an early age, in a very early age. Uh, because their parents been involved in the lust, and this is effect to the child. This effect to the child. Uh, some children, they grow up in a home where is the lust. What mean that the father, uh, he just have an immorality life. Uh, he sleep with his wife uh, without it to have any marriage, and uh, and uh, he going to sleep with another woman. So he bring another woman, drinking, drug addictions uh, 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 a lot of bad things which this child see with his eyes and all of these things enters in, 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 in the child's life 
in the result of all of that, in the result of all, is the, is the spirit of lust beginning to attack the, to attack the child in the early age, and uh, and uh, this child is struggle in all of his life. Even that they're getting safe, even that they're getting to Jesus, they're struggling. They're struggling with the lust and perversion. Why is it like that? Because uh, when you come to Jesus. Uh, you 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 still need deliverance. You still need to need to cast out all of these things from your background. Because let's say uh, one one child from uh, from a, from a younger age, he had a problem with pornography to say, which is very common problem today around us everywhere. Uh, I know so many uh, uh, people they come to me with to pray for them for uh, deliverance for pornography uh, addiction, and uh, and uh, when we start to uh, uh, explore and to go back to see from where it's come that we can most of the time 99% we see that start from a young, young childhood from very very young age they have a problem with that they're struggling and uh, even they don't know how and why and from where it's happened like that to them but the problem is this thing is followed them in all of their life it's followed them even that they come a Christians they are struggling even that they come on ministry they, they say some of them are pastors some of them they are uh, worship leaders, some of them they are part from the worship or part from the uh, uh, different uh, ministry in the church. But these people they are hiding that and they are struggling so many years because they try to deal with that with their own strength. Uh, they they fasting, they praying, they they uh, read the Bible, they do whatever they they they, they can do. But uh, actually, the results of end of the rest of that it's it's not that what they expect. Actually, it's getting worse and worse and worse because it's increase and increase and increase. And the bigger thing is, the moment when you keep this demon, this this um, demon in you, the long time when he stayed there, in one moment he start to uh, to bring a sickness and disease in your body. Was mean that the the the, the, the sin it start to manifest in your body, start to uh, slowly but start to kill you, to kill your body, to kill your immune system, your physical body. And, uh, and uh, that's why I'm saying, if you realize that you need a deliverance, immediately you need to find someone who to pray for you and to cast out these demons. Mark 16, Mark chapter 16 say, in my name they will cast out the demons, they will cast out the devil. And, uh, and uh, something is there which should be cast out and something is there which should be delivered from that, to separate the person from that. Because when you're getting safe, even that you're getting safe, even that you re receive Jesus, you still in need a deliverance because some people they come from so so different backgrounds they come and they still keep all of these things with them uh, some people they will say yeah but new creation yes that's right the new creation the new creation you're getting safe but your soul your, your your spirit is safe but your soul and your your flesh your body they still need deliverance they still need, they still need healing that's why many people they coming in the church Say they get they they receive Jesus, they 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 uh, surrender their life to Jesus. But but when they surrender their life to Jesus, there's nothing else is happening with them. They just continue to struggle with these sins a, a day by day, day by day, day by day. Why is it like that? Because it's not enough only to receive a Jesus. It's it, the next step is to 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 be delivered from all of this thing which is terminate you so many years. And, uh, and uh, 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 if you need that, if you realize that, uh, you can text us, you can call to us, you can find all the details on the description below. I will leave uh, uh, contact details, the phone numbers, or you can send a text message to us. Be free to, uh, uh, to, to call us and to speak to us. We'll be happy to help you. We'll be happy to pray for you. And we'll be happy to bless you and to God to deliver you from all of these things, which is... Um, it's it's some people they struggling with it they live unfortunately some people they die with these things so my advice is for you don't allow the devil to kill you before your time you to die before your time you you to continue to struggling and to walk with these demons which they terminate you day by day my advice is for you please find someone to minister to you find someone who know what he's doing how to do that and he walk in the power of god and uh, he understand what he's doing or if you can't find no one around you, please call us, give us a call, and uh, we can try to help you. If you're close around us in our area, we can come to your house, 
and we can with our team and we can minister to you uh, if it's not possible we can minister to you uh, through the phone so uh, I'm hope so this will be a blessing for you and this thing will, will make a little bit clear will make in your mind in your heart in your spirit all of this thing which I'm speak about the the, the, the the way how the devil is enter so I'm finished with that one this is the first step the first way how the devil enter next week I will speak the second way how the devil enter and uh, we can speak a little bit more about that and uh, I'm hope so this to be a blessing for you please share this video with your family or parents with your church with the people around you please text us and let know us uh, uh, what you think about it and uh, how this teaching is effect to you and uh, we want to bless you and we want to to you to be free and to live the life which God's promised you, to you so this is a new generation ministry. I'm Zvatko Stamatov and uh, God bless you and uh, see you next time.